Hey guys, I'm Cody, the editor behind Past Life Pro, and today, I thought I'd teach you how to enable waving water. You know, like the waviness you see next to my Spartan character. In the latest public CUDA shader, this one being the CUDA V6.0.82 Beta Ultra. This form of water movement has been around a while, and I'd only recently tried to see if it would look good with this newer version of the CUDA. Seeing as it does, let's get started. First, have the CUDA shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate gbuffers underscore water.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 20. To enable the waving water, simply replace false with true. Before we move back into Minecraft, I have some additional parameters I'd like to show you. Follow me to lines 43 and 44. Line 43 is optional, of course, but what this value is designed to do is adjust the wave height. And for this reason, the one you're experiencing on screen, I'd actually recommend staying with the default value. Line 44. For those that slow down the water just like I do for some longer style shots, then this value is what you'll use to make that happen. Lower numbers will slow down the water, larger numbers vice versa. All through this tutorial, I've been filming with a value of 0.04, so that's what I recommend you use. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. As with all my Cutish Shader tutorials, versions in time will change, so if you have any questions, then I'd be happy to help you out in the comment section down below. If this Cutish Shader tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.